We're told we have to both fit in the same camera, so I'm, I'm going to welcome you up nice and close to me. By the way, you Hi guys, friends. You guys uh, are going to hear some live music in a second, but you missed the mic check song. Both of them. It was a great performance. Can we, can we get a little preview of how I'll you mic check? I'll put the mic check song in the set. Oh, we can do it in the set. I love that. <laughs> also, uh, we are here hanging with Duncan. I saw that you already tried a donut. How was that? It was delicious. It was a maple donut. It made me feel like home. There we go. Hey, wait, if you didn't know this, you would think I made this up, but today, May 11th, does anybody know what today is? Sabrina Carpenter's birthday. You heard on the radio. Don't, don't tell my secrets that we talked about today. Okay. What, yeah, got any guesses? It's Sabrina Carpenter's birthday. Th that's also a good one. He's going to her show coming up. Yeah, you'll love it. Yeah. Sabrina Carpenter's show. You're going to the show, right? I went. It was her show. Was, uh, oh, the, 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 early in the week. Did you say you went to it, though? Yes. I, I went to Sabrina Carpenter, yeah. She crushes it. Yes, I love her. But nevertheless, today is National Eat Whatever You Want Day. That's every day. I swear to God, though, if you Google it, it's true. So you had your donut. That was good. And anything? And it's dangerous. literally national eat whatever you want to. The cannibals must be stoked. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and then there's that. Uh, first off, you, you've had a, a, a fun week. Did you ever thought you'd be going to the Latin billboards? Yes. Did, did you enjoy it? What was your favorite part of it? Uh, well, I got to sing with Ava Luna. And, and talk, it's an interesting way how that song together came about. Uh, talk about how you guys decided to do the uh, Spanish version. Well, you want the short story or the really emotional story? We'll do the, uh, the medium story. Okay. No, I usually do brevity or I do rambly emotional. Let me figure out what the medium version is. Okay, we can do this together. Um, in a, in a, a particularly emotionally tumultuous moment in my life, I decided that that song should have a Latin version, and I was also becoming friends with these guys, Maui Ricky, this Venezuelan duo who I'm obsessed with, and who are now two of my best friends, and they suggested I sing it with their sister, who is Eva Luna Montaner, and she's an extraordinary singer. And then we sang it, and it became a whole thing in Latin America, and then she got honored with the Family and Future Award at the, the inaugural Latin uh, Billboard Women in Music event, and then she decided she would sing it with a white Canadian man. <laughs> that is very well done in, in brevity, yeah. in about what, 30 seconds. Yeah, occasionally I can be concise. There we go, well done. Well, you also uh, wrote with Louis Capaldi for his most recent single. How yeah. was it uh, working with I him? I want to say I miss the green There we go, eyes. whoa. I love Louis. We wrote Wish You the Best the Day We Met. Yeah, and... Uh, I don't know, we, we, we met, and then I said, okay, tell me everything. Wait, that was the first day that you guys met? Yeah, we wrote the day we met. So I also wrote If the World Was Ending with Julia the day we met. That's very interesting. So I make my best impressions on day one. Day two, I'm worse. <laughs> it goes downhill from there. Mm -hmm. Maybe you'll meet somebody today and write a song together. Who knows? If it's day one, it'll go well. Uh, you, you really do uh, do everything. We've, we've met. <laughs> it's uh, so, so it's already downhill from yeah. them and you. You really uh, do do everything from write songs, perform. W what is your favorite part about being J.P. Sachs? Is it writing the songs? Is it performing the songs? Is it making the music? Are those the options, or can I? You can pick any side, any, any option you want. Maybe eating the donut earlier today. <laughs> we almost peed in our closet. There's a lot going on today. Well, someone said, I said, I. If any of you guys were in the lobby when I got here, I like really urgently needed to pee, and my <laughs> bladder had replaced my personality, and so I was just like frantically looking around. So I'm sorry if I ignored anyone in the lobby or elevator. Um, I just there was nothing required other than the that bathroom. Story, it, it, it gets even better. How about me? Oh right, right, right. So I got upstairs, and then I asked someone where the bathroom is, and he says it's on the left, little closet. And then I open one door was locked, so I was like, okay, not that. And then the other door was open and was a little closet. <laughs> and I was like, this is not the time for jokes. We've just met. Um, I've gone pee. That's the update. <laughs> Thank you said, what's the best part of being JP Zach? Yeah, because well, you, um, so, you do so much and you're so good at so many different things. Thanks. That's nice of you to say. Um, I mean, people compliment me a lot. Yeah. Just like that. <laughs> That's a, a win. For you. People just like you show up and people say nice things. Uh, now, I would say. My favorite thing about it that I've been thinking about recently is that being a musician who speaks predominantly about the more intimate, personal, emotional elements of my life means uh, usually when people come up and talk to me, they want to talk about the the non-small talk elements mm -hmm. of their life. Yep. And I love that. I love that I just get to skip the small talk with almost everyone I meet at any time in any country. So deep conversations, what you like? I, I do like them. And, and writing songs on first dates or first hangouts? I've never written a song on a first date. A well, first hangout then? First Hangout, yes. All right, cool. Then your new single, which we love, um, I Don't Miss You, has a, a kind of interesting spin to it, but explain that song for Yeah, everybody. it's a lie. It's a lie. It's basically the song's about, I kind of do miss you, but the name of it is, I don't miss you. So explain how I, Right, well, I just think you. about you all the time. I appreciate that. I get that <laughs> often, too. Everybody tells me that. Yeah. I mean, you ever, like, have a feeling that you don't want to? 
I think everybody has had that. Right, and then you try and contextualize it in a way that feels like more tolerable than what the version of the feeling actually is. That was quick. Uh, one more time. Okay, so <laughs> you, I'll give you an example. Like, I don't miss you. I just fantasize about you. Or I don't miss, miss you. you. I just, you know, dream as if you're painted on you the back of my eyes. my head. Yeah, I got it. Right, so it's like you're trying to contextualize a feeling you don't want to have in a way that seems like, for example, like I don't, I'm not a cannibal. It's just eat anything you want day. <laughs> I, I, and therefore. You, yeah. Ho hopefully you're not going to follow that today. Nah. Uh, not, not, not yet. Talking about your amazing lyrics. More of like a sushi guy. A big sushi guy. Yeah. Or, or pasta. There you go. A little more normal. I, li I like that. Yeah. Not Actually, at the same pasta, time. Pasta is the number one thing on national eat whatever you want day that people want to eat. I want to eat it every day. So it makes sense. The tracks. There you go. I asked a friend the other day whether she wanted Italian or Japanese food, and she said both. So then I looked for an Italian sushi place, and I found one, and we both decided it was too much of a risk. It's kind of risky. You kind of want to go to both separately, I think. Yeah, like it can be like different days. Yeah. Uh, so our good friend right here has a question about one of your lyrics. Read out or scream out the lyric real quick. Okay, what is it? Very important. Do you believe what doesn't last forever don't mean anything? I So we were just talking about this. We were just talking about this. Um, remember how I said Thank You Next is like th the more brilliant version of a song that I have? It's also way more fun. So that song, when you think of me, there's that lyric, do you believe what doesn't last forever don't mean anything. I do personally believe that the validity of love does not require it to be endless. Like love can be really beautiful without ending in death. I think love can be beautiful and end in death, but I just don't think it's the exclusive valid version of love. And I think we live in a culture that really romanticizes forever. And the idea that if someone doesn't last forever in your life, it's not a love that you were meant to have, I think is really sad. Um, especially because we're constantly changing as individuals. I also believe that you can have loves of parts of your life. Because, I mean, I just turned 30, right? I'm a different human than I was at 25. And at 25, I was a different human than I was at 20. So the person that is like the love of my life from 20 to 24, I might arrive at 25, be a whole different human, and they're a whole different human. So it's like, oh, wow, we were so deeply in love. But now we're both two individual humans different than the person people we fell in love as. And maybe it's more beautiful to recognize that who we were was madly in love and who we are is not. And rather than try and force this into being something it isn't, it just accept that we have been in love and now we're new people. Um, no, I, I, maybe, I think it's like partly having, like seeing divorced parents really love each other, but like also, like, cause if, if love can only be valid if it ends in death and like anyone with divorced parents like came from an invalid love and that makes me sad. Um, that's part of it. I also saw my parents be really loving to one another after being divorced. I think that kind of helped but maybe I wouldn't have been able to articulate it until I saw really beautiful relationships in my life end, but then still look at them and say like, well, it was really beautiful and I don't feel like it isn't just because it ended. And that's what I think Thank You Next is also a little bit about. <laughs> right, because like Ariana's like jamming about it <laughs> and I'm just sobbing about it, but a little bit same principle. Also, we were talking about how Thank You Next and I Will Always Love You by Dolly Parton are sort of on the same page, because people think I Will Always Love You is a love song, but that is a breakup song. If I should stay, I would only be in your way, but I'll, but I'll go and I'll think of you every step of the way. Like, mm. It's perfect. It's like the songs I'm trying to write, but way better, because <laughs> Dolly's everything. We'll talk about the amazing songs you have written. You guys right here, some live music? <laughs> Make some noise one more time for J.P. Sachs. Thank you for the interview. Appreciate it. Yeah. It'd be cool if I did like a medley of those three songs. Let me try. We'll try. Feels like a disrespectful oversimplification To say we wanted different things To brush it off with an explanation Like attachment styles and timing That's part of the problem But I wouldn't change a thing Not from the moment it started When you think of me 
Or you set and fight every memory Do you believe What doesn't last forever Don't mean anything Cause I swear I loved you fully And I'm sorry not For staying who we thought I'd be When you think of me Thank you <laughs> Next Thank you it's so emotionally incongruent, but it still makes me happy. <laughs> I'm so grateful for my ex. Thank you. <laughs> I should have gone from that to I will always love you and then to thank you next. But I'm doing this sort of on the fly. That would have been more, it would have been a more fitting emotional transition if I'd gone like. And I will always love you. Thank you. Thank you. And I will always love you. Thank you. All right, that was a mess of a medley, but that could be song number one. Okay, song number two. Uh, <laughs> Uh, I thank you for coming to this radio situation. Um, they're playing a song of mine on the radio right now, which is wonderful news because it means we get to make more friends. Um, and uh, we talked about it already, so I don't have to introduce it. It's called I Don't Miss You. You put my half donut in the cup right in front of me in case I... <laughs> Was the thinking, in case he wants a bite of his half donut in the middle of the set? Right there. God. See, it, it's a nice snack, but it's also a very distractible element of the stage, and my distractible ass cannot handle half-eaten donuts and coffee cups. Okay. I've never called her by your name. I'm lucky yours and hers aren't similar in any way. But you're an undertone still if she listens. You're on the tip of my tongue when we're kissing. And my conscience is flooded. But I don't think much of it. It's subconscious inside. So I don't let it mean anything I don't miss you, I just fantasize about you being someone who loves me It's not fair to anybody, but I just can't get you off of my mind My mind don't miss you, I just fantasize about you being someone who loves me I can't help it how I dream as if you paint it on the back of my eyes I don't miss you, I just think about you all the time I just think about you all the time I can't say that I expected Just how many moments where we'd still be so connected You sneak up on my imagination In the worst possible situations And my conscience is flooded But I don't think much of it It's subconscious inside it so I don't let it mean anything I don't miss you, I just fantasize about you being someone who loves me It's not fair to anybody, but I just can't get you off of my mind Don't miss you, I just fantasize about you being someone who loves me I can't help it how I dream as if you paint it on the back of my eyes I don't miss you, I just think about you all the time
Thank you. Uh, were there any other questions that I missed because I had a very long answer to question number one? <laughs> were there other ones? I wouldn't want to. I had this debilitating people pleasing problem. So if you had an expectation for how this was going to go and then I don't meet that expectation, I'll feel horrible with myself for the next three weeks. All right, great. I have one more song because I, I said I would do three. But if you have any requests, I can try and work them into song number three and then it'll still count as three. Damn, really? Say the good parts. Soft landing? parts too. I was distracted and in traffic. I didn't feel it when the earthquake happened, but it really got me thinking. Work you out drinking, work you in the living room, chilling, watching television. It's been here now. I think I figured out how how to let you go in that communication dial I know, you know, you know You are down for forever and it's fine I know, you know, you know We weren't meant for each other and it's fine But if the world was ending, you'd come over, right? You'd come over and you'd stay the night would you love me for the hell of it? All I feared would be irrelevant If the world was ending, you'd come over right It's got be falling while I hold you tight And there wouldn't be a reason why We wouldn't even have to say goodbye If the world was ending, you'd come over right Right if the world was ending, you'd come over Brakes cut and everything is coming undone Full speed, I'm just a blur to everyone Eyes shut and everything is coming undone A hundred thousand miles past when it was fun Only you get in the way Only you get in the way I shut and even though I know how it's ending I'm still praying for a soft landing I haven't sang that in like years Well not years, it came out like a year ago, but months The way you turned to me in bed and the way you said, can I have my spot? Put your head against my chest, ask me to rub your neck, put on British Bake Show or some other stupid show we'd watch. My hand on your knee in the passenger seat on the 101, driving just aimlessly. The way you turned to me and said, going anywhere with you, it's okay with me. So much of us was perfect and it's always what I think about first How nice it could have been if we only lived where our love works Fossilize my heart Trying to hold on to the good parts Memorize you in my arms Trying to hold on to the can we separate the way it ended from the person? Refuse to take to heart the things we said when we were hurting. I still think we mostly are the good parts. The good parts. I know, you know, you know you weren't down for forever and it's fine I know, you know, you know we weren't meant for each other and it's fine But if the world was ending you come over right 
You'd come over and you'd stay the night Would you love me for the hell of it? All our fears would be irrelevant If the world was ending you'd come over right Sky be falling while I hold it tight And there wouldn't be a reason why We would even have to say goodbye If the world was ending you come over right you come over you come over you come over right mm. if the world was ending you come over right thank you very much i appreciate y'all hanging out thank you to to the squad at kiss 108 for looking out for me it's been we never got the mic check song they gave me oh f mic check song what the heck the one we, okay, okay, there's, there's, there was two. So usually... <laughs> the original, no. Because this is something that was derived from me doing a lot of sound checks while there were people around and me not wanting to give away my songs because, you know, I've been doing this for a while, so I've done a lot of shows for people who didn't give it, which is why it's really lovely to do shows for people who do give it. I still get a kick out of that. Because um, when I was, like, 21, I'd, like, do sound checks, but everyone who'd be there for the show was already at sound checks, so I'd get up and be like, this is... Don't look at me, which felt like a lie. So I, I came up with, this is the mic check song, the mic check song. This is the mic check song, the mic check song. And I've been singing that for years. Um, but, then, but then friends in the room were like, the debut of the mic check song. I was like, not the debut. But we can do a new mic check song, and then it'll be the debut of it. And then we wrote together. You can have publishing on this. <laughs> all publishing on this. Me and Gianna got uh, half of this. Yeah, that's awesome. It Good. was like... This is the mic check song number two. The mic check song number two. It's the debut. And you'll the hear it tomorrow on New Music Friday on Kiss 108. If y'all play, <laughs> play that shit on the radio and not my song, we piss. <laughs> <laughs> That'll be fucked up. Oh, man. Well, thank you again for hanging out. I was JP Sachs, the radio station. Yeah, I love mic check, mic check song. song. Thank you guys for hanging in the Duncan uh, Music Lounge.